boom, the elephants on the head, here. And this one explodes, you know, when they shoot at five meters, they go straight for the head here. So the elephants don't have chance. There are, there are two sorts of elephant in Africa, two species. There's the savannah elephant that everybody sees. You see very few pictures of the forest elephant, which is very different. It's, it's about two thirds the size. They have down pointing tusks. So the forest elephants are adapted to the rainforest. They live mostly on fruit. And because they feed on fruit, they swallow the seeds often. And often in their dung, it's a bit like a compost heap. Some species, the elephants, the only seed, seed disperser, so it's absolutely critical. And every time we found one of those trees, we just found this, this sort of compost heap of rotting fruit underneath the tree because there were no elephants left. And so all, this, all the fruits were rotting. And that tree is condemned. That tree will disappear. And so they really are the forest architects and the forest landscape gardeners. They're collecting seeds here and they're planting them there. And so they play a really critical role in the ecology of the forest. And that increases the productivity that increases the carbon storage. So you take the elephants away and you, you actually have less productive forests that store less carbon. So we need to save elephants to stop climate change. If we look across Central Africa, in DRC, we've gone from about 400,000 elephants to just five to 10,000 that survive today. So we've lost over 95% of the forest elephants. Cameroon, over the last five to 10 years, they've lost 90% of their elephants. But it's only Gabon and, and Northern Congo that are clinging on. And, and that's why today, Gabon, even though we're only 10% of the, the rainforest of Africa, we have over half the forest elephants, over half the surviving forest elephants. It's kind of a weight on your heart every time you see it, but you see it more and more and more. It's one we didn't protect. I guess we can't afford to get numb to it because then we'd stop caring. So they shoot all the time because one kilo of ivory is one kilo of ivory. And they can kill a baby till the big male. Now it's a, we are in the war, total war. What you see is uh, everywhere in, in Africa now is the poachers, they are organized, they are very organized now, so it's a big crime. So we have a new project for that collar for the elephants, so we put the collar with GPS. Ça c'est un collier émetteur qu'on attache au dessus de, du cou de l'éléphant. And we can check every two hours where the elephant is here. So when it arrives very close for the village, for example, the elephant is in danger, okay? So we are going to send a patrol just to check the people, the village people, when they see the, the eco guards arrive, is protected. The new system that we have in Gabon is a new system of experimentation qui nous permet de lutter contre la battue des éléphants, nous permet de suivre facilement l'éléphant et les avoir sur un petit écran. Suivre un éléphant en forêt, c'est pas facile, mais le suivre avec des coordonnées, c'est encore mieux.